All right, Andres, why be happy when you could be ecstatic? <laughs> That's a great question. I mean, I, I do think that we have a lot of cultural hangups uh, about like very positive states of consciousness. You can definitely see that in the context of, you know, we kind of like talk around the edges when it comes to things such as, you know, the pleasure of orgasm or, or even like heightened states of consciousness like, like meditation. Um, we don't really uh, have currently the ability to culturally integrate the fact that there's these fantastic states of consciousness and possibly that we might be able to experience them sustainably. In some sense, we got, as a society, we get off on signaling our misery. Uh, we, we show off like, to others just how committed we are to a cause by showing just how distressed we are about it. But I think like, we, we may very well be on the brink of a paradigm shift when it comes to really embracing and not feeling guilty about being in ecstatic, ecstatic states of consciousness. Sustainable ecstatic states of consciousness. And culturally integrated. And culturally integrated. Whoa.